Rádio é foda, né? Oh, that was good. Come on, please go. Go, 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 go. What's up, guys? Welcome back to my channel. So I'm going to be starting a six video series. So in each video, I'm going to be playing three holes. So after six videos, that equals 18 holes. My goal is to shoot even for those 18 holes. So I'm going to be picking holes that I like at each course. And it'll be fun because I'm planning on traveling a bit coming up. So let's jump right into it. The three holes I've picked to play for this first video is 13, 14, and 15. I'm going to play 13 and 14 from the tips and then 15 from the blue because 438 is like a par 5. Okay, so for this video, I'm going to try not to talk in my pre-shot routine because I usually end up hitting it horrible, but... I'm going to hit a driver here. Maybe I could hit a 3-wood, but... I'm not going to start off the, the series with the 3-wood, with the so here we go. That was really good. The microphone fell off, but... Okay, so I might have overdrew it a bit, but I'm, I'm gonna be able to get over the tree. So let's see how far I have. Okay, I'm 124 to the pin and 109 to clear the bunker. It's always good to see how far like a bunker is. So I'm just gonna hit a nine iron. All right, I'm gonna hit a nine iron right over this tree. It's the plan. That was another pretty good shot. I mean, another. My first shot was in the trees, but I'm pretty sure that's on the green. I think I'm like decently close, but we'll see. Good swing though. Very good swing. Okay, so I landed right here. This is a really good look at birdie. Let's go for the first hole. Yeah, go ahead. Here you can photobomb. Go. <laughs> There's people behind me and they do not look happy. So I'm going to try to rush and then let them through. It would be ideal to start off the little series with the birdies. So let's see if I can get it done here. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Wow. Okay, well. Okay, par for the first hole. I'm the first person to get so mad about slow play, but if there's people in front of the group in front of you, there's literally nothing they can do. Like, the guys behind me are literally hitting into me being psycho, and there's a group on the tee, a group in the fairway, and a group on the green. So, where do you want me to go? So, I'm waiting for the group in front of me to clear. So, I'm just looking at my hole. I'm really examining what's going on here. You know, my coach would always get mad at me because my course management is so bad. And I would just make such dumb mistakes on the course that can be so easily avoided. And so I think it's really important if you want to lower your scores to first not try to fix your swing, but think about what you can do better in terms of like course management. So this hole's 344. Um, it's a little bit of a dog leg left, so I'm just going to aim out to that bunker in the distance. Oh, come on. Uh, actually, oh, <laughs> that's in the middle of the fairway. I thought that that was going to be in the bunker. We are chilling, my friends. I'm so, I'm like Hudeki Matsuyama. Yeah, I'm going to compare myself to him. But I'll hit like a really good shot. And I'm like, what the heck, Sabrina? And it ends up being perfect. Wow, that's so funny. I did a whole little rant about how I'm so dramatic. And it was in the fairway. But it's actually in the fairway bunker. So I take what, back what I said. Let's see how far I am. The other day I was playing and I was hitting really good out of the fairway bunker. So, you know, I'm not too nervous about this one. Okay, it's 107 and it's 83 to clear the bunker. That's really important to know because if the pin's all the way in the back, all you need to kind of do is just get it over the bunker and onto the green. So I think I'm just gonna hit a pitching wedge my main goal right now is just to hit the ball first. And that is like the hardest thing for these fairway bunkers because obviously we usually chunk them because they're such, they're pretty hard shots. So let's hope for the best here. Oh, that was good. Come on, please go, 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 go. 
That's short. Oh, come on. Hey, that was good, guys. We'll see, though. It looks good from here, but we'll see. If you're enjoying this video so far, make sure to like and subscribe. It really helps out the channel. Let's get back to golf. All right, not as good as expected again, but you know, we're almost on the green, just on the fringe. Definitely going to putt that. I could probably shoot so much better if I actually took more time before hitting my shots, but I just kind of like to go up there, look at it like this and just kind of like full send it. I tried to pay, he begged me to stay. Babe, I'm not staying, I just wanna play. In the party, he just wanna rock. Big groups in the bus, they talk. Oh, come on, Sabrina. Okay, that was quite horrible. This is not an excuse at all, but the last two days I've played two extremely nice courses and the greens were so fast. So sometimes if you're playing a bunch of different courses, it's kind of hard to get the feel of the greens down, but that was just not a good stroke, so. But I need to make this, this is for par right here. Come on, yes, yes. In my head, I was like, wow, if I don't make this, that's gonna be so annoying. <laughs> Guys, this next hole from the tips is 448 yards. That's so long. Okay, I'm debating, should I play it from 448 or 422? They're both still really long and the wind's in my face. Okay, I'm do if the wind is in my face, I'm playing from 422. It's neutral. So I'm just gonna play from 422, which is a really long par four for me still. So I'm just gonna hit driver. It's a dog leg left. This is the number two handicapped hole. So this is a good ending hole for the first video series. So that kind of drive is not ideal, especially when the hole is really long, but let me show you where I am. This is not that bad. The pin is down there. So sometimes it's fun to scramble. So I'm going to see what I can do here, but um, let me range it first. So I honestly think that I took way too long to actually hit the ball there because I was talking and moving the microphone, but if my routine gets too long, I tend to not really hit it well. Okay, so we have 212. I'm allowed, you can't move the ball, but I'm gonna just like kind of move this a bit, but if the ball's not moving, it's fine. Okay, this is definitely going to be one of those shots that could either end up amazing or horrible. I'm gonna put the microphone on the floor here because it's kind of annoying when I swing. Okay, honestly, that's not bad. We can really work with that. It's gonna be, it's not on the green or anything. It's definitely short. It might be in the bunker, but I, I made good contact. Like that could have gone way worse. Like it doesn't look bad at first glance, but it's a little bit kind of down hill a bit. And it's an elevated green front pin, not much green to work with. So this is not, and the ground is kind of hard. So this is not, a good shot for me just visually so I'm going to really have to commit to this like this is one of those shots where you have to commit and not be nervous at all because if you are you're gonna thin it over the green so I'm gonna put my microphone down and really focus here Woo! 
<laughs> okay, guys, that was like the best I would ever do. I mean, okay, not the best I would ever do, but that was really, really good. And it's because last minute I changed strategies. I was gonna try to like open the face and do like a flop, but I decided to just like put it on my back foot and just hit it like that. And this is my 60, so that ended up being really good. So let's see if I can make the par. Okay, not as close as I thought it was gonna be, but it was still like, it was still a really good shot. I mean, that could have been way worse, only for my skills too. Like that's not something I feel really confident with, but um, I'm gonna mark it and clean it off a little. Hey, this is definitely makeable. I mean, like from where I was off the tee, this is like, I, I, I'm putting for par and I could make it, so, you know. You can't be mad about it. Like bogeys are not bad. Wow, the fairway looks so nice. It's so nice to be out here, honestly. Like I'm having such a pleasant time here alone. <laughs> You know what? That was a really good effort. That was a good putt. But, you know, it just didn't go in. Can't be mad about it, but that would have been way better if it went in because that would have been such a good par. Whatever. Okay, I'm just gonna hit it again for fun. Just for fun though. Of course. Of course. <laughs> All right, guys, that is it for today. That was actually super fun. I felt like with my camera, I was like on TV and I was really taking it serious. The last hole, just a bad tee. Everything was good on the last hole, but like if I would have made that putt, it would have been so much cooler. So that was the first three holes of this six video series. So next video, we're gonna be playing another three holes, three holes to add it on to this three holes. My goal is to shoot even for the 18 holes so see you guys next video thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed this like and subscribe and i'll see you guys next time okay bye <laughs>